Hey, GED students, I'm going to try to make these basic operation problems a little scary by throwing some letters at you. But don't panic, okay? This problem is simple. Don't freak out every time you see a letter. Let's take a look. It says, determine which operation is indicated by each expression. Guys, could you just read the directions? I love you guys. I do. I love you. You're my people. You're my students. But y'all don't read directions like a lot of the time and end up thinking things are harder than they are. So what are they asking me to do here? They're just asking me to determine which operation is indicated. Um, and these are expressions. It's not even in words. So I'm supposed to be able to look at these symbols to know which operation, what thing they're asking me to do. You know, like add, subtract, multiply, divide. <laughs> That's what I mean by operation. So first of all, you know, students look at this and they go, oh my God, it's a fraction and it's a fraction with a variable. I don't know what to do. Fractions were bad enough and then Kate threw a letter in there like a jerk. Guys, that's not what I'm asking you. I'm not asking you to do this math. I'm asking you to tell me what this symbol here this fraction bar, which operation it indicates. And you go, it doesn't really indicate anything except my extreme fear of fractions. No, guys, remember that one way to think about a fraction bar is as an act of division. It's a divide by symbol. And that is literally the most common way we write about division in the algebra classroom. So you need to stop panicking when you see that bar and you need to start being able to read it as divided by. So this is R divided by five. You used to write it like this in elementary school. Now we're going to write it like that. Okay, next one. J with this little floating two. If you're an experienced level student, I'm going to guess you've seen some exponents before. This particular exponent is the number two. We're talking about the second power. Okay. That's one way you can call that, or some of you guys know that there's another name for that. That's also known as squaring. Whichever one you call it, either one of those are right. Now, I was kind of trying to be a jerk with the next one. Uh, this is not usually how you'll see this written. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just... I kind of want to take that one out because that has two meanings in... Um, math and I don't want to confuse you with it just by itself. Oh my goodness, Kate's going to say skip something. All right, but let's go on to this guy. Um, 11, well, I'll tell you what two meanings it has. It It is multiplication, but I'll just tell you that later on in the unit. We will see that this can also be used as function notation. And that's a little confusing. And don't worry, don't worry. You have, don't have to know that word for the GED. But you'll see that used in another way as well. Uh, let's go on to the next one. When you have a number shoved up against a letter, this is the more normal way in algebra when we have letters to talk about multiplication. We put the number up front, shove it up against the variable in the back, and that's just how we write multiplication. We don't even bother with parentheses. We just use proximity, nearness, to tell you that these two things are multiplying. And then finally, this little check mark house. Somebody asked me the other day, Kate, is a radical just the same as the square root? And the answer is kinda. That little check mark house, just that symbol is known as a radical. In that radical, ha ha, math teacher humor, you guys, I'm so funny. Uh, but radicals are used for different operations. There's the square root when you just see a radical alone, but you know, you can have numbers inside of the check marks, and those are different roots third root or third root or cube root, fourth root, fifth root, I don't know, 17th root. There's lots of different roots. But for the GED, really, knowing square root is. The one where it's just a radical by itself is just fine. So we're going to say that this is square root is the operation indicated here. Ooh, I got a little tricky. I threw some letters at you. I threw some more challenging operations at you. Mm, how'd you do? <laughs> so if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them.